the second stage of X Factor's boot camp delivered with its promise of jaw-dropping performances, all hoping to be for a spot at next week's 6C challenge. With judges Simon Cowell, Nicole Scherzinger, Sharon Osbourne and Lewis Walsh taking their seat on the panel on Sunday night's episode of the ITV show, the first act Sean and Connor Price stepped out on stage to a 4,000-strong audience The Irish teen brothers showed just how difficult it was to impress as they kicked off the show before hopeful Georgina Panton blew the judges away with her dazzling final performance, no doubt raising the bar for the future With Sean and Connor's performance of Began for Matkin stopped abruptly, Simon informed them, this is my least favorite performance of yours You are pushing the vocals on it. When asked why they chose the song in question, they confessed, we thought it was a good upbeat song, and we could feed up the crowd with it. However, the explanation didn't sit well with Simon, who told them, you don't need to force a crowd with anything, you need to rely on your talent. They were then given the opportunity to sing a different song, and they chose Ed Sheeran's Sing, which proved to go down better with the judges Nicole delivered the verdict, this is hard for us. Simon is right, this is not your best audition as the nerves took over. We saw potential in you and liked you from beginning, she teased before continuing, I'm afraid you're going to have to go to the six chair challenge however, in the midst of their celebrations, Simon advised them, we see how much you want this song choice, song choice, song choice And while the brothers were sent through with a warning, the next contestant, S.J. Hill from Cardiff, didn't seem to have the same luck as he took on I Can't Make You Love Me A none too pleased Simon informed him, it's just you walking backwards and forwards singing a similar version of the original During deliberation, Sharon admitted he hasn't got it before SJ was delivered a no verdict And with nerves at an all-time high Hopeful Jack Mason was up next The 18-year-old, who was at boot camp by himself as his mum couldn't get time off from work, admitted he struggled with his confidence However, his confidence was not an issue as he delivered a powerhouse performance of This Is A Man's World, ending in a standing ovation from the judges Nicole admitted, I'm going to put some gravy on your cheeks and eat them, while Simon confided to the other judges, the public are going to love him A clearly thrilled Jack was given a unanimous yes decision, leaving him emotional and in disbelief Already a fan favorite, family band The Cut Kelvins delivered an energetic performance of Get Down On It Baby However, Simon won again questioned their performance, stating, what you're trying to do musically is so wrong at the moment, a statement Nicole disagreed to as she labeled them fresh and relevant Simon admitted, we disagree on the song, but we will see you at six chair challenge Gary Barker from Liverpool was up next up and the pop singer admitted as he got teary eyes that he wanted to make his children proud
Upon deliberation, Sharon revealed, you would never think that man would have that voice, before Lewis told him he was through to the next round. Holly Tandy, who was celebrating her 16th birthday, showcased her vocal prowess with Harry Styles' Sign of the Times. She revealed that despite being the youngest in the competition, she was determined and was willing to do whatever it takes. And the judges proved to be impressed as she was sent, though and in a sweet moment, the audience sang her happy birthday. In one of the standout moments of the show, Sam Black, a plasterer from the Isle of Man, didn't seem to impress in his performance, but walked away with something much more. Speaking ahead of his performance, Sam admitted boot camp is surreal. I'm from a small place, and I'm proud of myself to get this far. He proceeded to sing Del Shannon's Runaway, which quickly had Simon sighing, and he stopped the performance. I would not advise you to sing this song, Simon told him, before continuing, can I suggest you to sing that again, and slow down, so we can hear your voice properly after Sam delivered what he asked, Simon informed him, I'm going to be honest with you, we all really like you as we have gotten to know you. I think people are going to like you, but we are going to have to say no, Simon concluded, However, while Sam was clearly disappointed, for him there was unfinished business, as he quickly ushered his stunning girlfriend Emma on stage. Immediately, the crowd and judges knew what was about to happen as they started applauding. An emotional Sam got down on one knee, and as he pulled out a ring, he asked his other half, can I get a yes off you? To which she agreed. Simon then hilariously noted, it's on the wrong hand Sam, to which he replied, it'll do the music mogul then admitted, Emma, you have one heck of a nice man. Wish we could have said yes today, but good luck to you both. Burgett Lewis, 45, was up next, and the impressive singer from Amsterdam effortlessly belted out Donny Hathaway's I've Been So Many Places. The hopeful, who admitted she wanted to be an inspiration for women and men of her age, was met with a standing ovation from Nicole and was sent through to the next stage. However, Karen Kennedy, another hopeful in the overs category, wasn't delivered the same fate as she sang Tina Arena's Chains. It proved to be disappointment for Karen, who revealed she hadn't brought anyone with her in case she fails, as the judges decided there were much more better singers in her category. However, clearly confident in her ability, Karen put up a fight as she hit back, no way. I know I can do better. I know my category, I'm not going to lie there are good singers, but so am I. I know I can do better. If you just give me the chance and unfaced, Simon cemented his decision, we've made up our mind. Wow Karen declared, before she walked off. Things continued to get tough as Jordan from Sheffield, who wowed with his original and his initial audition, sang another one of his own tunes, Souvenir.
he didn't get the chance to go through and LT from Essex was also delivered the same fate. Hoping to change all of that was Benji Matus from Cornwall who was hoping to sing a love song, inspired by Mick and Linda from EastEnders. The tune proved to be a hit with the audience and even had Simon smiling and nodding along. He was met with a standing ovation from Lewis and Sharon. Your hair needs its own Instagram, Nicole Cheekily noted, before stating she was impressed with his original song, and with that, he was sent through to the next round. The last performance of the night was from Georgina Panton from Birmingham, who expressed she felt like a loser after having a child at 16 and felt like wasn't going anywhere in life. She began singing Sweet Dreams by Bayance and immediately had the judges excited, resulting in a standing ovation from all four judges. Simon was then most impressed he had been all episode, telling Georgina, your control over the song and your stage presence is amazing, you've been a little erratic, but you've brought it together when it mattered. Sharon also shared the enthusiasm as she informed the hopeful, you've shocked us all, you're a free spirit as Georgina cartwheeled herself out of the building with excitement, Simon happily noted, she